Hello and welcome to this walk around video from us here at Quattro Tech Cars. For the next couple of minutes, we'll be taking a look around the 2014 Volkswagen Golf GT that we've just bought directly from the previous owner. So this is a 1.4 turbo petrol or TSI, 150 PS with the six speed manual gearbox. It's finished in metallic night blue and being the GT, we have Alcantara upholstery, but on this one, it's in grey, so slightly less common than the black that you'll see on most of the cars. The GT came with grey spec that includes the likes of automatic lights, front and rear parking sensors, satellite navigation, Bluetooth connectivity, automatic wipers, adaptive cruise control, and of course, those stunning alloys as well. On top of that, this car was spec from factory with the panoramic roof. And we also have a tow bar, which can be super handy if you need it as well. Through the video, we'll be taking a closer look at the Golf Estate. So we'll start this video off by taking a look here in the back of the Golf Estate. So it gives you a good idea of the overall size and functionality of it and the condition at the same time. So of course we have a larger area in the estate than what we'd have in the normal hatch model. We still have the two piece split folding rear seat with the through loading section and the top tether attachments, as well as ISO fix mounts on the other side of the seat. The detachable load cover, and this car came to us with a boot liner. So that is in the pictures if you've seen it already, and it will be staying with the car. I've only taken it out for the video, so you can see what state the carpet is underneath. Now this car being the GT, we have the Alcantara upholstery, and this one is finished in grey. We still have that lighter contrasting stitching and all the caps here in the back for the ISOFIX points as well. The original Volkswagen carpet mats front and rear for the car. We've got a lighter grey headlining and then that combined with the panoramic roof makes it feel really nice and airy and spacious in here as well. We've got a fold out armrest in the middle that has adjustable cup holder space, as you can see in there. So these bits just clip out uh, and you can adjust it depending on how big your drink is. Finishing off things for the interior while we're in the uh, front seat, we'll have a look around the cockpit and some of the features that we have with the GT spec. So we have these piano black inlays all around the interior that go around the dashboard and then along there on the passenger side as well, and also some on the steering wheel. We have the adaptive cruise control all on the steering wheel. The steering wheel controls also consist of voice commands that will work with the navigation and your media. We have the automatic headlights with front and rear fog lights, folding door mirrors, and of course, electric windows all round as well. We have air conditioning. We have front and rear parking sensors. We have multiple choices when it comes to the driver mode. So most people drive around in normal, but sport and eco will change the way that the car drives through the weight of the steering and the power delivery. We have an electronic park brake that to help you from rolling back on the hills. We have auto hold as well. There's more cup holder space just underneath the slider there too. And just before I go back to the outside of the car, of course, we'll talk a little bit about the rare option of the panoramic roof and just pan around to show you the condition. 